Greetings from Scouts Farm. On a busy main road on a bank holiday. It's raining, but I can't wait any longer. The weather is beating me. So I'm gonna just have to film it and then I'll get myself back home and have a shower. And I'm at Edge Hill train station, which is, as you can see, nice and cobbled. A little bit of old historical aspects architecturally with all of the sandstone either way as you walk down and I'm here today because it's another world first for Liverpool and the father of the railways is listed as George Stevenson and I have filmed a house which has got a blue plaque to George Stevenson which is not too far from where I am now it's by the um, Anglican Cathedral so that's on the channel it's only a little video just to show you where he used to live while he was um, getting to work on the railways in this area and he's not from Liverpool George Stevenson he's from a village called Wylam which is about 10 miles away from what is now Newcastle upon Tyne and um, he also spent a lot of his time in Chesterfield and uh, I think that's where he passed away and there's memorials to him in Chesterfield but being the father of the railways this this Edge Hill station is very very prominent for George Stevenson and everyone absolutely everyone on planet earth who's ever been on a train this is where it all began this is Edge Hill Liverpool and on the 15th of September 1830 the world's first ever passenger railway station was opened and it was on Crown Street which is not too far it's it's a stone's throw from where I'm standing now and that was the Crown Street passenger terminus and it connected Liverpool with Manchester on what was then known as the L and MR which was the Liverpool and Manchester Railway and the first railway tunnel dug under a major city and it was 1.3 miles long which was quite a bit of a feat at the time for the railway tunnel and it was called the Wapping Cutting Tunnel and that connected the docks at what is Wapping Docks which is aptly named to not far from here in Edge Hill and when this line was opened to Manchester from Liverpool from the Edge Hill it was um it was it was like it was a major 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 achievement for engineering and basically technological advancement in Liverpool and for the rest of the UK when other railways started getting built and I'll just wait for this there's a few things going on down the bottom there I'm just going to wait a little bit but it was opened and the locomotive called the rocket which is quite famous George Stevenson's rocket it um it was given a little memorial outing really and of a few VIPs and dignitaries were put on the train the rocket and then off they went up towards Manchester from this area of Edge Hill and it also included the then Prime Minister the Duke of Wellington so he was one of the first on the train passenger carriage to go from this area up and they keep saying this area and it'll become this isn't the actual train station that no longer exists but we'll go into that in a minute but yeah the, um, the Duke of Wellington was also the Prime Minister at the time in 1830 when the trains started leaving from this passenger station and just to go for those who are familiar with the railway network in Liverpool we've got Lime Street station now and when Lime Street station was completed on the 15th of August 1836 the newly built tunnel that was a bit close the newly built tunnel allowed passenger travel direct from the city centre through to Manchester and previously passengers would travel from Crown Street what I mentioned before through the tunnel by gravity so it wasn't powered a powered locomotive it was gravity because it's slightly uphill so if I spin you around slowly so you don't get dizzy you'll see that I'm now downhill because I've walked from that antique shop which I've also filmed in so I'll leave you I'll leave a link up there to that because that is done good numbers so people are very obviously into antiques but yeah you can see so a bit of gravity Crown Street is as the crow flies up that way and then the passenger train would have people on it and it would roll down here 
and then I think it'd have yeah it would have people on it and it rolled down this way and right on cue just like that but a little bit slower and when it got to Edge Hill or what was the first Edge Hill station over that way a little bit it would then be connected to the locomotive and the first one being the rocket and then off it would go up towards Manchester from Edge Hill all the way up towards Manchester so and then when they come back they get off at Edge Hill and then uh, a pulley system would pull them back up to Crown Street and that would be where they they got back off the train but um, Edge Hill where we are now was the first timetabled passenger stop from the Liverpool terminus uh, but the original Edge Hill station was a little bit further down near the entrance to what are now disused, disused tunnels and I will do a short video after this so it'll be released a day or two after this I'll just do a short video looking over the bridge to those disused tunnels because you can still see them clearly from um, you spin your round again so where them new build houses are there just behind that there's a road that runs along and you can look over and see the new tunnels so it's over that way somewhere and I'll do a little short video of that but I wanted to tell you about the history of this first and this is as I say a world first not just the first for the country it's literally the first passenger station train station on planet earth the world's first right here in Edge Hill um, you know the, the tunnels themselves it's just staggering apparently there's a there's a there's a museum sort of thing where you can walk through some of the disused tunnels and that's not far from here and a few people I know have done videos in there so I am going to go in at one point and if they let me film I'll just I'll just walk around and show you inside so it'll give you a little tour of what what were the then tunnels that took trains towards the dock with them um, cargo on and then from Crown Street down this way where it had passengers on and this section of Edge Hill where we are now was opened completed and opened in 1836 and it makes it still the oldest passenger railway station still in use today the world's first passenger railway station still in use today as I'm now going to show you and we are literally standing on the shoulders of giants gorgeous so I'll just walk you around here and show you a little bit of the splendor anyone there nope And when you're in the antique shop, Chandos Street, which is there, when, you, when you're in there, when the trains go through the tunnel, the whole building rocks when you're up upstairs. So yeah, the trains going underneath you when you're um, in there looking for your little antiques. And this tunnel now cuts through and goes all the way up to Lime Street and joins into Lime Street. But the one I'm gonna show you in a bit, which is over that way, not too far away, that would go one of one of the tunnels there's three entrances one of them would go off to the docks one of them would go up to crown street and the other one would would go up towards town somewhere but they they were used the, the other tunnel was used to just like put trains out of the way off the line so they could be maintained and repaired and they would store things in there and stuff like that but there there will be a link down below so i'll leave a link to the history of edge hill and the tunnels and you can see they were absolutely fantastic. The That's not my platform, I don't think, so I'm all right. I'm on platform two. And just look at the buildings. The old Liverpool sandstone there from the Walton quarries. And an old, I imagine it's a original Potts clock there. But if it isn't, it still looks old anyway. But not being a train historian, I wouldn't know if it's original or not. It just looks, it looks old to me anyway. The next train to arrive at platform one is the 1219 Northern service to Wigan Northwestern. Calling at there you Wigan go. Do you want to go to Wigan? Park, Broad Green, Roby, Highton, 
Prescott, Could have got the train Prescott, down actually, just said it stops at my train station instead of driving, which should have saved some petrol. But a world first, another world first for Liverpool. World's first passenger railway station. The birthplace of all trains everywhere on earth. So that'll do you viewers. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have yourselves a great day. As I said, I'll go and film the, um, the tunnels now. A little short video so you can see the tunnels. And Scouse Farm. We'll see you all again soon.